Hello everybody, welcome back to channel. My name is Josh. I sell used books on eBay and Amazon. Today is a Monday morning and we are shipping out eBay orders. We got, I can't remember how many orders it is now. I looked at this just a minute ago. I want to say it's like 53 orders going out or something. Now, I used to sell a little bit of everything, but if I start looking at this unit, like everything I pulled today is like books, CDs. We do have one reel to reel tape. There's a map here, but all this is stuff that like, I'm actually wanting to list and work on right now. Down the other unit, we do have some other stuff that I'm no longer really listing that type of stuff, but niching down to just books and media has been a game changer here. It's changing, it's really changing my dollars per hour of what I'm able to make. Um, do you need to figure out sourcing just a little bit more? Um, but yeah, we're gonna be working on that this week. Um, yeah, let's talk about books. So I've been getting lots of comments lately that books are worthless. The, Every time I look at books, they're worth like $5 free shipping. How are you making any money selling books? And the answer to that is, pay attention here. The answer to how you make money selling books is you don't sell 99% of books. You're only selling like one to maybe 5% of books you're running into. You're selling stuff like this over here that we're gonna be looking at. Niche subjects, uncommon books. You're not selling everything that's got a barcode on it. Like majority of that stuff is not worth anything I've got a giant encyclopedia set down here it's gonna be a pain in my butt to ship but we're gonna make like around a hundred bucks after it's paid twenty dollars for the whole thing sold it for 160 plus like forty dollars shipping but it's probably gonna take more than forty dollars shipping so the answer to how do you make money selling books you don't sell the majority of books you sell the rare books the uncommon books the esoteric books the Books on topics that are super niche that you wouldn't think about. For me in my area, that's a lot of cookbooks, a lot of religious books, and a little bit of everything else mixed in there. But anyways, I'm going to show you guys what we sold over the weekend because I think there's some good stuff and I got a lot of shipping to do later today. And then we're going to go down to the other unit after I finish up in this one. We're going to talk about my plan for the week and we'll go from there. So let's see what sold. Also, do you like this hat? My hair was a complete mess. I threw a hat on this morning. I kind of like it. Something State Park. Roaring River State Park. I don't know. I just pulled it out of my unit. I should probably delist it. Let's see what's sold. Okay, so starting down in the bag, a whole bunch of sewing machine parts. Look at that. We haven't listed the sewing machine in forever. Well, I did take one apart to the last 30 days, but that's been it for the several months. Good money there. Here we got one set of books. This is The Great Ages of Man Time Life. Now, Time Life books, if you find just one of them, usually they're not worth anything. However, in a big old set, absolutely can be good money depending on the set. Put up on the screen what this one sold for. Here's an encyclopedia set. I think we got 160 plus shipping. It's not perfect. Like we got some paint on it and different things that was disclosed. Quite a bit of shelf wear, but this Encyclopedia Britannica is one of the better encyclopedia sets to look out for. And up here we got all sorts of stuff. Let's start with the music. Whiskey Myers, Myers CD Sampler. I think I listed it for 90, sold for 70 or something like that. Did very good. Picked this up in a thrift store for like a quarter, by the way. It's gonna be true of a lot of this type of CDs. The next three are going out to the same buyer and they also got one from the other unit. So they came in about four. We got folk music from Pakistan. We got more like folk music from somewhere and some Norway fill music. Let's see, oh, one last CD, Halloween, a spooky sound effects, twisted edition. This was something that went on big clearance sale. I got like 281 for it, but hey, it's gone, it's sold. Here's a reel-to-reel -reel tape. I would love to find more reel-to-reel -reel tapes. Electric Light Orchestra, a new world record. Uh, I can't remember what I got for this. Let's just open this up in case nobody knows what a reel-to-reel -reel tape is. I do not test these personally, but I have not had an issue with any of them working. There we go. I do look at that film right there, make sure it's not moldy because that is an issue with a lot of old film media, but that one is good. Oklahoma 2000 Railroad Map. I listed this because there was none available for free distribution. Originally, you could have got this for free. I think we got like 10 or 15 bucks for it. A set of four DVDs. Um, these are all Disney sing alongs. We have The Life of Boone, an Alta edition. Usually these Alta ones are not worth a lot of money, but usually worth listing. International Critical Commentary, Ephesians and Colossians. I had this whole set. 
It'd be really good money, but just had one, unfortunately. Here we have Printing the Mind of Man. Oh, this is a great book. Um, I got this from a lady in my hometown. If you're watching, thank you so much. Got a whole bunch of books. Paid her a hundred bucks after looking at like two or three boxes. This one ended up selling for like, I think $90 plus shipping. I never heard of this book before, but Merca, the autobiography of a cat. Just got a bunch of like cat pictures in there and a little bit of talking. Very interesting. Two Chronicles of Oklahoma. Oh, I was so happy when I pulled these. So these are over here in this box. And wouldn't you know, the two that were on top were the two I needed to dig out of there. Absolutely made my day. Um, one sold for 20 plus shipping and one sold for, they said they would do 20 including shipping. So I sent them an offer that worked out to that. We sold those. Now, if you go look at solds on these Chronicles of Oklahoma, most of the solds are around like five, seven dollars plus shipping. But I know if you ask more on these because majority of these issues you cannot get, they will sell for higher values because there's none available of those issues. Already the Smarty going out. And last but not least, Railroads in Oklahoma, edited by Donovan Hoffsummer. Going to a different person than the railroad map, but they came from the same estate sale. This is everything in this unit. We're going to go down the other one and see what sold down there. All right, so plan for the week is I need to source a lot of books. I had listing 36 books a day. Well, it could be books, CDs, DVDs, whatever. 36 per day, Monday through Friday on eBay. I had enough for today. I probably have enough for tomorrow, but Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, don't have enough books for. So I need to sh source, what is that like? 90, like 108 books for eBay um, by the end of the day, Friday. So also we need a source for Amazon. I want to send in 100 units for Amazon. I've not done that the last few weeks like I wanted to. So I have maybe 10 units on hand for Amazon. That means I need to pick up another 90. But this week, because of stuff we got going on, can't leave town. So we're going to be sourcing in town. It's not something I've done for a while. In kind of a smaller town here, 14,000 people. A lot of books do go through this town, but that's not enough turnover in order to support what I do full time. So I do have to go out of town a lot of the time to source. So I have not sourced in this town in several weeks now. So we're going to go and hit every place in this town that I can. Every thrift store, every place you can buy used DVDs, used CDs. We're going to hit them all. Should get enough of the books. Um, I think I can also talk to one source that I typically pick up bulk books from in this town. Possibly get one of my trailer loaded books. So that's the plan for this week. We're going to scrape by in this town. Next week we're going to have to go out of town to source. We're going to plan a day, maybe two take a trip, go get some books. But for this week, staying in town, we're gonna to wipe the town clean of books. We're gonna hit every thrift store, get them all cleaned up. That's the plan. But anyways, let's see what's sold. All right, so here's the rest of that encyclopedia set. It's gonna take three boxes to ship that thing, but really they're not bad. You wrap a little bit of bubble wrap around them, throw them in a box. They're just heavy. Up here, we got one pin, Team Memphis. That sold, it's going to Memphis, Tennessee. Who would've thought? This has been returned once before, but I got it relisted. Green Bay Packers shirt, 2XL. Hopefully these, they, it does not get returned this time. Some CDs. Andy and Patty Reynolds, Masters of Irish Music. This is the other CD going out to that buyer that got three in the other unit. Swing Utters, Hatest Grits. I, I don't even know. Frost on the Pumpkin. Pretty cool. Nice little CD cells there. We do have some books. Invisible Wounds by Frederick Palmer. We have one little Ford Yasket going out. And one textbook, Criminal Evidence by Judy Hales. Was gated on this on Amazon, so we listed it on eBay. Happens a lot. Unfortunately, the gating on Amazon is absolutely terrible right now. One, what's this? Crankshaft adapter? I think that's the word. I have a whole bunch of those. We have a pair of pants going out. One of the older clothing items in my store, so glad to see it go. A set of magazines, Arizona Highways. Here's a Surface, uh, something, can't remember. Does not work, I tried to power it on, 
I knew that when I bought it. The person that sold it to me said they couldn't get it to power on. I thought maybe I could get it to power on. I couldn't get it to power on either. So, sold it as is for basically the same price I paid for it. Took a gamble, see if I get it to work. Could not. Bible Wines by William Patton. Another Kubota workshop manual. I almost, I still have quite a few, but I've sold through so many of those. Originally, this drawer was completely like over full of those, and we are down to just a few of those left. Paid a dollar a piece in a great Facebook Marketplace pickup about a year and a half ago. Sold through most of them. One pair of Lee jeans. It's a cool hat. Fabsco ink. Neat. $15 on that. And then this is a part off of the last car I had that broke down. Just pulled it off because it fell off easily. There's the part number right there. Just use that for looking it up. Got $15 for it. So that's everything we got going out today. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.